as I mentioned, we already have the initial points. Um, we already have the paragraph. And as I mentioned, guys, there's three steps basically to this. Mary, let's just focus up here for now. So there's three steps that we talked about. The first step is graphing the paragraph, which I just did. I just made you guys do from the start. We didn't even we used the table, right? So we graphed the paragraph. Y equals 2 to the x. We used the table and we found these points. Step number two is identify the transformations. So if you remember from over there, we know what A, H, and K are going to do to our graph. So since I'm adding a 1 inside my function, adding a 1 inside my function, that is going to shift my graph one unit left. Please make sure you guys remember when it's inside the function, it's the opposite, right? Remember, it's x opposite of h. So whatever that h is, you're going in the opposite direction. So you're shifting the graph one unit to the left, and you're now going to shift the graph three units down. So we're taking our graph, shifting it to the left one, and the, oh, sorry for you guys, left one, and down three units. Now. All we simply need to do is take this red graph and apply those transformations. So the best point to apply the transformation to is you're going to take this point, shift it over 1, and then down 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Now, the other thing I mentioned is that we have a horizontal asymptote. Horizontal asymptote is at y equals 0. Right? So if that horizontal asymptote, if that's also being shifted down three units. So I take this horizontal asymptote at zero and I go down one, two, three. So now I create this horizontal asymptote. What's n what the point, the reason why it's important to have that horizontal asymptote is because this graph, as you guys can see, approaches the asymptote at zero. Right? Remember we talked about it does not cross, Jasmine, it does not cross zero. It keeps on approaching this asymptote. Right? So in the same respect, this graph is going to keep on approaching this asymptote. It's never going to intersect the asymptote. So now, all I'm simply going to do is take all my points, go over 1, down 3. Over 1, down 3. And you guys can see my graph is now with the transformations in the black. Yes, George? I'm sorry? The one unit left is the top of one. Should we go right? This one? Yeah, so you gotta go to the left. It's always the opposite. Oh, okay. Okay? To make sure that makes sense? So if it was the x minus one. Oh my god. 